Welcome to Dunduk Studio. Uh, today I make the tutorial instead of Ali. Uh, I'm his friend and I'm a member of Dunduk Studio. In this tutorial, in this session, uh, we want to make snow effects for our game. So first steps um, to make a snow effect is to create a particle object named uh, snow particle. You know particle plugin has one sprite. Create a sprite named snow. The sprite plugin can have as many as you want uh, frames in it so it can be become more interesting like uh, this right here you see I have three frames for uh, my uh, snow so and this is my um, uh, particle that I name it uh, particle snow part snower okay so what we want to do now is to uh, make the particle to create an uh, object instead of um, particle itself because as I said particle has only one sprite so or one frame I named it uh, particle snow in this project scroll down and on the properties object value select an object click on the sprite that you created and it's snow when you place particle into the layout at the beginning, the snow slowly starts to come down uh, from top of the screen uh, until the screen is eventually filled with snow. But at the start of layout, you might want to immediately fill the layout with snow. So you can duplicate the uh, snow particle. I named it right here, particle snow fill once. This one that we duplicated, its properties and uh, type is one shot. It means it only uh, triggers once and uh, fill out our screen uh, set the snow particle start to spray once like uh, right here I made it or uh, type is one shot set initial X randomizer to layout width and Y randomizer to layout height in the properties of our particle which is one shot that is gonna fill out the screen um, the initial particle properties X randomizer my layout uh, width and height is um, 1080 X uh, 9020 at the beginning of the game as you can see it immediately fill out the screen with snow like right this this is uh, our duplicated particle snow at the beginning of the game uh, the screen fills out with snow and it continues to snow down I have a snow section right here on the created uh, event for my snow sprite I added an action for snow and set animation frame to random 3 it means I have 3 frames uh, for my snow uh, when it's created uh, it has a interesting looking like um, every snow has uh, its own uh, shape and it's better to add a sign behavior for our snow sprite look uh, if you don't um, add a sprite to this particle you can't you cannot have these options like this various options for making it an interesting like real snow add a sign uh, behavior to our sprite the setting would be as you see in the preview um, it's um, I set it movement to horizontal like this and wave to sign uh, some interesting thing I think you should do is to you set the animation frame to random to make a difference and make a random cycle position to your sign to because if you don't do this at the beginning of the game and throughout the game the snow's movements are gonna be the same and it's not very nice as you can see these are moving in the same direction and it's weird you know one more uh, important thing is that for the particle snow fill ones the one that fills out the screen you should Put this in the middle of your layout like right click and align it to layout center horizontal and like uh, center vertical so it can fill out your screen for once and this one as we said before particle snow 
continuously sprays uh, the snow from the top of the layout to the bottom. So this is it. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe our YouTube channel Dunduk Studio. You can check out more tutorials from us and make sure to smash that subscribe button and you can see our previous tutorials right here. We have more tutorials on our main website uh, at dunduk.studio. Uh, click tutorials right here. We have awesome tutorials. Make sure to comment on our videos. We make sure to uh, reply and hopefully make uh, better videos in the future. Thanks for watching.